My name is Kashif. Uh, let me introduce myself first. Um, I have uh, like nine years of experience. I started this uh, SCCM training um, in the year 2011. I have taken more than 100 badges so far, like corporate training, classroom training, online training. Okay. I am not only a freelance trainer, but also a uh, working professional. I am working in a company where I am working as a solution architect in uh, SCCM uh, uh, level three team. Okay, so I bring with me a huge experience on SCCM. Also, I am a certified Microsoft certified trainer, and uh, I have uh, done other certifications as well, like uh, MCSA, MCSE and uh, Intune certification. So that's that was about me. And uh, I would like you guys to just give give me a brief introduction, like your name and your qualification. And uh, are you uh, do you have any IT experience or is this uh, are going to be your first job after this training? Um, Bargavi. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Bargavi. Sir, I completed my uh, digital science from Penn State University, Ohio, and bachelor's from computer science and diploma from computer science. I'm um, having experience as a Java developer in tech commands, software services. Um, okay. Yes, sir. That. Good. Okay, Indu. Hi all, my name is Indu. I am uh, recently graduated with a master's degree in computer engineering. Uh, as of now, I don't have any experience. Okay. Lakshmi. Hello, sir. Um, myself, Lakshmi, and I have graduated from Kent State University. And uh, coming to the course, I'm very new to this uh, SCCM tool. And I'm looking forward to know more about this. Okay. Manasa. Hi, sir. I completed my master's from Kent State University in computer engineering and technology. I don't have any previous experience. Okay. Thank you, sir. No problem. Yeah, Sai and uh, Timal, I already know about you guys. <laughs> so that's fine. And uh, sorry. Yeah, you're saying something, Sai? Oh, Is my voice clear? You guys yeah. are able to hear me properly? Yeah, it's good. Okay. So... Yeah. Timal, are you able to he hear me? Okay, we can't hear you, Timal. I just saw your message. Okay, great. Now, let me take you to SCCM. What is SCCM and uh, where it started and what is the main functionality of SCCM? Okay, you guys able to see my screen, everyone? Okay, now, SCCM is Microsoft product okay and the full form of sccm is system center configuration manager now sccm actually started in started as system management server that is called sms in the year 1994 microsoft developed a product called sms system management server and the version Microsoft released was SMS 1.0. After some time, after getting some feedback and some product enhancement, they developed another version of SMS that is SMS 2.0 and similarly SMS 3.0. Later down the road, Microsoft released this SMS 2003 in the year 2003. And this was going well because uh, everyone started using it. It had gave them a very good solution like application deployment 
and uh, software uh, application deployment operating system deployment and many more features so everyone started using it and many companies all over the globe they uh, took this product and implemented in their organization but you know after some time every everyone needs improvement so people started giving feedback to microsoft and microsoft released another version of sccm and now from there onwards in from 2007 microsoft changed the naming convention from sms to sccm system center configuration manager so sccm 2007 was released in 2000 in the year 2007 multi Multiple version of SCCM like SCCM 2007 SP1, 2007 SP2. Then Microsoft released another version of SCCM, and that is SCCM 2012, and that was released in 2012. So this was a major change from SMS 2003 to SCCM 2007 and then SCCM 2012. These are the major releases of Microsoft. After that, Microsoft changed the naming convention and they put it like this, SCCM 1511, that was released in November 2015. Because they changed the naming convention as month, sorry, year and month. 15 is the 2015 and 11 is November. Similarly, 1606, that was released in Feb 2016. Then Microsoft released another newer version of SCCM that is 1606, that is June 2016. SCCM 1610, October 2016. And this is the final current branch, SCCM 1702. That is the new um, ver version of SCCM and that is uh, the current branch. This is the top version of SCCM. Okay, the training duration would be around 35 hours. After this training, if you want to go for the certification, the certification code exam code is 70-243. You need to score at least 700 out of 1,000 to score the uh, to pass the exam. And after passing the exam, you get this MCP certification. Microsoft Certified Professional. The cost of this co co this uh, certification is 4,800. And uh, that you need to pay to Microsoft directly and Microsoft will take care of your exam, okay? Um, and uh, it is uh, up to $100 in US, the certification charge. Okay, this was the historical background of SCCM. Any questions so far, guys? Anyone? Great. Now let me take you what, why we need SCCM in our organization. What is the main benefit of SCCM? Now, these are the basic functionalities of SCCM, like asset management, deployment, compliance management, security. Now, why we need SCCM? Suppose you are running a company called Wipro.com. Uh, sorry, Wipro Private Limited. So Wipro Private Limited has around 250,000 employees all over the globe. So in order to have the inventory of those devices for those, you know, 250,000 devices all over the globe, you, do, you cannot have a pen and paper and write it down. Right. Rather, you can have a database to store those information. So SCCM keeps those data and put it in its database. Like what kind of hardware you have in all the people who are there in India working for Wipro. What kind of software they have in their computer. Okay. What are the RAM and CPU configuration they have in their computer. So everything you can get it from SCCM database. That is called hardware and software inventory. Then you have asset intelligence. So let's say you have one 100,000 applications installed all over the globe. So in order to do in order to do the categorization of the application, 
give me a minute please I'm back guys sorry okay so uh, we have this uh, deployment sorry asset, asset intelligence what asset intelligence does is, is suppose you have 100,000 applications all over the globe so what you do you in order to categorize those applications you have this asset intelligence then you have software metering software metering is for application usage for example, you have licensed application and you want to find out who are using the li licensed application and who, and who are just wasting the license. So SCCM will help you to find out who, uh, how many people are using the licensed application. Then you have remote management. Using SCCM, you can remote into the SCCM, uh, sorry, using SCCM, you can remote into any computer on, on the uh, in the infrastructure. Then you have deployment. SCCM is as is actually working as a deployment tool, which is like deployment of, let's say Google Chrome, you need to deploy it to all the 100,000 devices all over the globe. SCCM will help you to deploy that application in one shot, okay? Then you have software update management so using sccm you can update your uh, computers all over the globe okay you don't need to have manually install the updates of which are getting uh, released by microsoft rather you can have uh, sccm to update your soft uh, to your computers and your computers are up to date and free from vulnerability then you have operating system deployment you don't need a cd or pen drive you can have sccm to install operating system um, on the network then content management using sccm sccm actually does a content management it, it suppose it, there are two applications which need needs a one common application it does not copy that application twice it will have only one instance so that it as um, it is actually doing the content management and space space optimization. Then SCCM has this compliance management, which using this compliance management you can keep your computers up to date and compliant. Uh, let's say if you have if you wanna find out how many computers are there with the uh, Internet Explorer 10 or how many computers are there with Internet Explorer um, 8. So you will get all the computers which are non-compliant and compliant and based on that you can troubleshoot and find out what is the problem. Then you have power management. After 7 o'clock in the evening, for example, everyone leaves the organization. No one is there. You probably need to turn off the, their monitors. So using SCCM, you can do that. Then you have client health. So using SCCM, you can repair your client. SCCM is a client and server a tool, okay? So in every computer, you will have your SCCM agent installed. And if the agent is not working properly, SCCM will repair the client itself and make it uh, working properly. Then you have reporting. 
you know uh, reporting is very much important like you have as hardware inventory and software inventory you want to get it in report and show it to your manager manager so using sccm you can get it in excel or pdf or a csv format and send it to your manager monitoring you can monitor your sccm infrastructure whether it is working fine or any issues with it then the four, last one is this security role based administration so who is doing what you can have multiple roles available in sccm then you have nap network access protection so in network access protection like uh, computers which are not uh, up to date okay they will SCCM will find out those non-compliant computer and remove it from the regular network and put it on a restricted network so that the vulnerability the vulnerability chances are very low it it cannot spread the vulnerability then we have endpoint protection like antivirus which is installed in each and every computer to secure your infrastructure okay so these are the basic functionalities of sccm there is one more functionality that is called mobile device management so using sccm you can manage your mobile devices like your android device your uh, um, iphone devices uh, windows mobile uh, to set the policy for mobile devices so sccm is basic a tool which helps you to manage your devices your computer your mobile devices your servers your Linux boxes your Mac operating system understood any confusion so far guys no question okay Now, the benefit of SCCM is using SCCM, you can have a application catalog so that user can install the application as and when they need it. Okay, whenever the application is needed, your user can go to the app store and get it installed rather than raising an IT help desk ticket on reaching IT for the installation. It also, SCCM has the security infrastructure. So using compliance setting, you can find out to your all computer which are compliant or non-compliant. And based on that, you can secure your infrastructure. And the new SCCM 2012 is easy to use and user friendly. So IT administration is very, um, very easy and you will be able to access it properly. So these are the basic functionalities uh, of SCCM. Now, how SCCM, you know, SCCM is comprised of site and site roles. So there are three major sites in SCCM, central administration site, primary site, and secondary site. I'm not going into details now. Okay, I'll go in details when we start the actual training. So this, this, is, this is the diagram this is how SCCM works. Central administration site will be sitting on the top of the hierarchy. Then you have primary site, and then we have secondary sites. Okay. Now in our lab environment, we will have one domain controller. Other, this one is going to be one server, Windows Server 2012 R2, and this one is Windows Server 2012 R2 and one client computer will be there. And we will have our lab like this. Let me take you my lab environment. So this is my SCCM. Uh, and how the lab works actually, it is running on my cloud server. So the database, domain, and SCCM. These are the three servers we have created on where Microsoft Azure uh, portal and we created database domain sccm servers and join it joined all these boxes to a domain pepsi.com is the domain we have created and they all are running at the moment and this is my sccm console okay 
so these are the major uh, navigation section like asset and compliance software library monitoring and administration okay so asset and compliance will give you the list of all users in your organization let's say you have thousands and thousands of users you will get them here uh, in, in devices you let's say you have thousands and thousands of devices you will get those devices listed here then you have software library you can deploy application from here like you create google chrome package and deploy it to all your systems software updates you, using this section you can um, up make your computers up to date you know these are the updates available from in microsoft update server then you have operating system deployment this one using this section you can deploy operating system like windows 7 or windows 8 or windows 10 to any any computer monitoring section you have alert query reports deployment you can monitor all the components of sccm whether everything is working properly or any issues then you have administration any change you want you need to go come to this section and do the changes here for like policy change or configuration change you need to come here on this section so this is sccm console and uh, we have other boxes as well that is database and domain so these are the data we need to have domain controller server we need to have database server for to get our sccm ready so these two servers are the prerequisite for sscm any confusion guys okay so i'll give you an example here how sscm works let's say this one so SCCM, this is the high level diagram for SCCM. For example, if there is like 50,000 employees only in one building in Houston, so in order to manage all the 50,000 devices and all our Windows 7 computers, in order to manage all of them, uh, you can have one primary site server, a standalone primary site server, and that will be able to manage all the computers now tomorrow your organization is uh, getting bigger and uh, you expanded your business in CTEL and Boston and CTEL has around 2,000 computers and Boston has 2,000 computers too now in order to manage CTEL computer CTEL and Boston computers you put your secondary sites there in CTEL and Boston and and both of them will be reporting to your primary site server now your organization is getting even more bigger and you have like more than 100,000 employees all over the globe. So you will have one primary site, one central administration site sitting in the top of the hierarchy that is Toronto and multiple primary site, one for America's region, one for EMEA region and one for APAC region. So those, those will be, uh, the servers and they will be uh, reporting to the the secondary will be reporting to primary and primary will be reporting sent to central administration side any confusion guys anyone no okay so we are just giving we are just doing the theory now okay in the demo session but when we go in practical we will build each and everything like we will create our servers we will have our domain controller ready we will have we will install database we will ins join all the computers to the to a domain uh, and then we will install all the prerequisite of sccm and uh, after that we will have our sccm box ready and then uh, everything is going to be a practical we we are not running just a slide and we are done understood hey, if you guys have any question that's fine i am i'm done with the demo okay so let me know if you have any question 
yeah also i wanted to tell you that about sccm currently sccm is booming in the market um the trend shows that uh, um, you know after uh, once you you know in the, the job market for sccm is pretty well actually you are multiple opportunities out there you have indeed and dice uh, uh, websites wherein you can find out sccm related to uh, inquiries and you have hundreds of opportunities there so the trend says after taking this session you know within one month people get the job for sccm and uh, not only in us but also in uh, india europe and multiple place, places because sccm is the only tool which gives you this kind of uh, functionality like you can m manage all your devices you can manage your mobile devices as well you can deploy operating system application software patches so there is no tool in the market currently available which can compete sccm so this is a very power to powerful and robust tool so for uh, after taking this social session you will uh, definitely be able to crack the interview and get a good opportunity any more question guys any anything no question okay lakshmi says it's clear um manasa sai hindu it's clear Margari. sir it's clear okay very good so if you guys don't have any questions so i'll turn to shrinivas shrinivas i think we don't have people don't have any questions so we can stop right here shrinivas you there okay uh, sir yes As this is the demo class it is for 30 minutes so what would be the actual um, Time frame of the original class that we would be having tomorrow. I mean, one and a half hours. Uh, one and a half hours. Oh. Every day, and, uh, one and a half hours. Yeah, every day you would be giving the assignments. So. Yes. After uh, doing the session, the recording will be given to you, the video. Also, the assignment will be given. Okay, not every day, but uh most of the time assignment will be given and you need to complete the assignment and get back in the next session if you have any question we can discuss the questions in the next session okay. yeah any question from other candidate okay so i think we if we sir, don't have any question yeah yeah go ahead sir what is the timings for this class same time 7 30 uh, uh, my time and uh, i don't know about your time the same time what we started today oh, okay sir will that work for you guys all of you yes sir yes, yes. okay Okay, Shirini, 